Using this method, you can now fix the native HDR games on the PC for all displays. It doesn't matter if you have a gaming monitor, a Samsung TV, Sony, LG. This works for everything, okay? I've been wanting to make this video for so long to tell you, this is it. This is the solution. <laughs> no matter what you are using. So what is the problem that we have to fix with this native HDR games? Well, the problem is that they look washed out. Look at this thing. It looks horrible. For some reason, these developers, they just, I don't know, they don't test the HDR. At least they don't, they, they never play the game on HDR on an OLED screen. That's for sure. Because as soon as you open these games, and this is a problem with almost every single game. As soon as you play these games on HDR and OLED screen, you, you can clearly see the issue. This looks horrendous. Look, before, after, before, after. So how can these developers don't notice this? <laughs> it, it's just unexplicable. I cannot understand it because if you compare SDR with HDR, you will clearly see that SDR looks like this. Okay, SDR looks correct. It looks okay. But as soon as you turn on HDR, you get this mess. Okay, so what is the problem that we are trying to fix? Elevated grayscale. We have to lower the whole thing. Look at this graph. Before, after. Before, after. So we are lowering that grayscale. We are using a single reshade preset okay that's it it's very easy to do so now how do you know how much you have to lower that grayscale okay this is going to be a little bit of work and it's going to depend on the game you have to test it on each game but it's not that difficult look this is what we are using two presets one is this Lilium HDR analysis preset. Link in the description of the video to a full guide of how you can get this working on your PC. Okay, I'm not gonna cover that here. It's just install Reshade and copy this new HDR analysis tools on the textures and the shaders folder. That's it, okay? So we're going to use these two presets, this Lilium HDR analysis preset and this PROD8003 curved levels. That's it. So now, for this to work as intended, we need to right-click on this HDR analysis preset and select move to top. And we right-click this uh, curved levels preset and we select move to top we need to have the curved preset this 0 3 curved levels preset we need to have it on top we need to have it before this hdr analysis tool because the way reshade works is it has order of priorities so this is the only way this works if it, if it is the other way it's not gonna work as intended the way we want it okay so now that you have that set up, all you have to change here is this gray black point. That's it. Black point setting. You just need to increase it from zero to depending on the game. Okay. So how do you know how much to increase this? Okay. So if I have this at the default value, let me show you. If I have this at zero, you see this line here, you see the, the, the grayscale here is clearly, it's almost, it's almost a line. So you can clearly see that the game information is right here. We don't need to, we want to have this as close to zero as possible. So what you're going to do is come here to this black point and increase it until you get this line, boom, until you get it perfectly right there, starting at the zero. That's it. This is all you have to do. This is going to work for every single game. How many games do we have with this problem? Oh my God. How many games we don't have with this problem? I would end faster, <laughs> okay? So this, this is gonna be 
just absolutely amazing for PC gaming because if you have a monitor, you don't have the option to, to, to change this. So you, let's say you get, you know, this latest Samsung QD OLED monitor that costs like $2,000, super ultra wide, all of that. If you don't have the option to lower the black level, you are not going to be playing any games on HDR. <laughs> so it's, this is just incredible. This is going to make your HDR display usable. <laughs> okay. So absolutely give it a try. So now here on Lies of P, the value is 16. Okay. So this value is changing per game. In Cyberpunk, it was 21. I was testing other games and it is a different value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start covering some games just to share with you the value. But if you test the game yourself and you decide that you are better off with a different value, go for it. Test it yourself. At the end of the day, we are not going to get here the creator's intent okay because we do not want the creator's intent because they clearly they didn't care okay so forget about that you are not getting the creator's intent here we are the creators of our gaming experience so we decide how much shadow detail should be visible okay it's that simple we are the creators of our gaming experience, especially when it comes to HDR, because these developers, they don't care. They just don't work on it. I mean, they just don't care at all. So we have to fix it. So don't worry too much about it. If, if this is the absolute perfect value, just lower that thing. So you go from this crap to this, okay? Before, after that that's what matters so just lower it my recommendation on this game is 16 but if you lower it more that's okay use your eyes okay use your eyes so now talking about using your eyes sometimes you will find a game like for example i was testing yesterday plague tale requiem okay and the game looks like it doesn't have the black level race so you see the signal here is very close to zero all the time and it doesn't seem to have a problem. But when you look, when you use your eyes and you look at the game, you can clearly see that just messed up to no end. Okay, <laughs> because that game is constantly on the darkness and it looks gray. It looks horrendously bad. Plague Tail Requiem HDR, which supports the system level calibration also. So you have to use your eyes. So myself using my eyes, I lower that black level. I think the number was 18, if I remember correctly. And the graph was not helpful in that case. So you might find a game where it looks okay, but it is not. And the reason why I think that might happen is because it might be looking okay because there's a bunch of garbage information so, but that doesn't mean that that information that the game has is good information. It's just garbage information that we need to crush. We need to lower that grayscale because it looks washed out. So ultimately, we have to use our eyes. But this is very simple. It's just a matter of a single slider that we have to move. That's it. Okay. So now the other thing that we can test with this tool is the max CLL to make sure that the maximum peak brightness that the game is trying to output is what we want. Okay, so for example, on this LG C1, I want to use HGIG, which means no tone mapping on the TV. The TV is gonna follow the EOTF and hard clip at 800. So I want my games to output, to try to output 800, okay? And a problem with this tool sometimes can be uh, like here, that you see that it's going beyond 800, okay? So my recommendation is for you to double check that because this is not actually going over 800. When I go here, I get this out of the way, I take a screenshot, 
and I open that a screenshot with the HDR WCG image viewer app, I am actually getting less than 800. And this is very reliable in my experience. So I open this screenshot. You see here, max CLL 616, okay? So in this case, for some reason, this is not reporting correctly, okay? I do not see any clipping here. So now using my eyes, Again, this doesn't look that bright and I do not see any clipping whatsoever. On the recording, you're gonna see clipping because I have the ISO you know, raised so you can see the near black, okay? So keep that in mind, but so far, this is the only example where I've seen this Max CLL not working correctly and maybe I have to apply this fix here. There is a workaround for rounding errors for display max CL, CLL. So maybe if I use this, let's see. I am using that workaround and it's the same. It's going beyond 800 when it is not. But for, for the rest of the games, I've seen this max CLL reporting correctly, okay? For some reason here, I believe it is not reporting correctly but that's it let me know if you have any questions again i'm going to do probably a series of videos sharing the, the black point setting for many games i can i can do a single video with multiple games and tell you you know these are all the games fixed but the problem is nobody's gonna watch that video because people search on youtube for a specific game. People don't search, how do I fix every single game ever on every single display, no matter what? People don't search <laughs> like that. People are like, okay, I want the settings for this game, they search for that, and that's what they're gonna find. So I'm gonna have to do at least, you know, three, four, five videos with different games, and just share the same thing so people can find it. Uh, share this video. I never, I, I've never asked in this channel, ever, ever you can watch all the videos I have I've never said like share and subscribe never ever 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 but this information is very important this is a game changer I see so many displays that are good displays that they are good HDR displays but they do not have black level control and they are good HDR displays you cannot enjoy gaming. You cannot enjoy HDR gaming if you are not able to fix this problem. So this is a game changer for everyone playing on the PC. So share this video so more people can see it. This is very, very, very important information. This video and the video I made before, which I'm gonna have a link in the description of this video. I mean, most PC gamers know how to install Reshade, uh, but I still have that video showing you, you know, what you have to do. And I I'm going to have the links uh, in the description of this video to download Reshade from their website. This is free. And the link to download this new HDR analysis tools that you need. Okay? So share this video so more people can find it. And let me know if you have any questions. I will do my, my best to help you. I'm just getting started with this reshade, okay? Just getting started. Actually, I didn't know why this was not working. And on the first, on the first, on the previous video, somebody told me, hey, <laughs> it is not working on Lies of P or no, on the rest of the games because of this problem. You need to have PROD8003 curved levels. You need to have that on top. You need to have it before the HDR analysis tool because there's a hierarchy, there's an order of operations here for the reshade uh, preset. So if you don't have it in this order, it doesn't work. It doesn't change this, okay? So I'm just getting started. If you know better, if you know how to get an even better result, definitely share that on this video. If you tested this game, Lies of P, share the settings like you think that it should be uh, instead of 16 it should be 18 or share your settings i will give it a try in this case i i believe it's 16 because i am going to this place and it looks like 16 is the right value but 
maybe the night when the night comes and I have a perfectly black room I might retest it again but I think this is perfect I can see all the all the shadow detail no problem and it doesn't look washed out anymore okay so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions